Are your customers slapping their customers around? What do I mean by that? Counterintelligence is next. This video is sponsored by Carlson, manufacturer of disc and drum brake hardware, electric wear sensors, and brake lines. Visit carlsonqualitybrakeparts.com for more information. Hi guys, it's Mark Phillips. Oh, the pad slap. It's a really dirty phrase. It's a phrase that says to just about anyone in the automotive aftermarket who respects what they do that someone is about to commit a crime. Know somebody who does pad slaps? Well, don't let it keep happening. Put an end to this pad slap madness today! Let's go over four common brake job mistakes made by rookie technicians and maybe a few veteran ones as well when replacing brake pads, rotors, and calipers. Number one, not replacing the brake hardware, caliper bushings, pins, and sleeves. Just slapping new pads where the old ones once resided never works. The brake hardware needs to be replaced in order to help eliminate noise, prevent premature wear on the new pads, and ensure a complete brake job. The caliper bracket slides need to be clean and free from rust. Make them free! All right, number two, not lubricating the guide pins. This is a shortcut most pad slappers make. Caliper guide pins on floating calipers should always be cleaned and solvent, and new grease should be applied. The grease is under extreme heat and pressure, so always use caliper-specific grease. If the guide pins have rust, they must be replaced. Never put a torn boot back on a car. Failure to service the guide pins is the leading source of uneven pad wear. Number three, installing the brake pads backwards. Wait, what? It happens more often than you would think, especially when the vehicle's owner complains that the brakes are grinding after a friend changed the brake pads. Number four, not properly torquing the caliper bracket bolts. Not all caliper bracket bolts are the same. Torque ranges can vary from 30 to 110 foot-pounds. Also, some bracket bolts can be torqued to yield or require liquid thread lockers. So there you have it. Four common mistakes made when replacing brake pads, rotors, and calipers. It should be done right the first time, or it's just a slap in the don't do it face. I'm Mark Phillips, and thanks for watching.